So I've just received my uh, Hyper 212 Evo in the mail here from uh, from Newegg. No, from Amazon actually. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Prime 95 for a few minutes here and see how hot I go. Um, I've got, let's see, I've got this running at 4.4 .4 overclocked on the stock cooler at the moment. CPU ID, load that up. Should be able to see. Oh, for, yeah, it's a uh, 1643, 16 to 43, but I've also got the uh, 103 nearly. Uh, bus speed, which brings it up to a lot more. I believe it's closer to 4.5 actually. Um, I expect that this this uh, base clock and uh, base clock and multiplier combination. Well, let's choose uh, small FFT. Yeah, here we go. 4.428, uh, actually. You can see the processor there it was at 28, 30, 27, 43, and it's already starting to climb. And we'll come back in about 10 minutes to pick up some new Here's the the temps already. The CPU actually is down here. Here's the i5, all the cores, and I'm obviously overclocking way too much for that. You can see the uh, clock speed is already being knocked down a little bit so that I don't overheat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the Hyper 212 Evo and uh, see what improvement I get. Right now you can see in my case I've got the uh, Intel stock cooler. I've got these 200 millimeter blue LED fans on each side. Um, dual 660 GTX's. One from EVGA and one's MSI. They work together pretty well, actually. Um, I've got them both overclocked a little bit as well. And then this fan came with the, the case. It's a um, uh, Cooler Master 912, HAF 912, I think. I'm sure somebody will recognize it. Got this nice big uh, backplate opening. You can see some of my cable management back there and uh, yeah let's pull out this stock cooler see how the uh, thermal paste looks underneath wanted to show you how the uh, stock paste looked after I pulled off the, the cooler and it's uh, it's actually looking pretty good um, yeah the CPU is not not warm anymore this is only a few seconds actually it's a little warm I can feel some heat in there still. I pulled off the uh, stock cooler here and it's it's still warm to the touch. Um, you can see the, the paste there a little bit. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Looks all cracked and stuff. Maybe I've overheated it too much. Which is <laughs> totally possible. 105 Celsius is really overdoing it. Um, I'm... Pretty happy that my CPU isn't dead. Got the uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM in there. Um, I've looked online and hopefully the heat sink isn't too close to here. I might have to move this RAM up a dim, which isn't ideal. Um, you're supposed to have them in these two slots for the best speed uh, possible. 
if I really have trouble with that, I might have to either um, edit, edit, change these heat sinks or change RAM entirely, which would really suck, be expensive. And yep, I'll be back. In so here you can see I've got the uh, back plate on now. Um, make sure if you are doing this to do a cross pattern on the different bolts. Um, do them all by hand first, then use the little tool that they give you here. Put it in place and turn them like that. Just get them snug. They don't need to be super tight. You don't want to crush your motherboard between the, the uh, bolt and the nut or anything like that. But snug is good. So because of the cooler being really close to this RAM slot, I had to actually pull out this stick of RAM um, in order to be able to put the fan in place. After I put the fan in place, there should be enough room there. I uh, lined it all up and made sure it should have enough room for me to just stick the RAM back in place, no problem. And there, as you can see, fan is in place here, and the RAM is in there too. So there's definitely room there. Um, in fact, this fan may pull air past the, the RAM to make those heat sinks work a little better. I haven't had any trouble with my RAM, and I don't plan on overclocking it past the uh, 1866 that the XML profile gives me, but um, but might as well keep it cooler, right? All right, I think this uh, this cooler looks pretty good in the case. Um, I was worried about it being too big before I bought it, but I measured everything out and it seemed fine. And it's actually smaller in person. Um, than how I thought it was going to look. So I'm going to put the case all back together and boot it back up and see what type of changes in uh, heat we get. All right, just to show you again, we're, we've got the, uh, you know, it's already bumped itself up a little bit, 16 to 43 with a base clock of 1.03. And same ivory bridge everything. Um, I'm gonna start Prime 95 over here on the small FFTs again and we can watch the the temperatures and for a minute and see how they do. Remember after just a minute they shot up to 105 last time. this same overclock. So far that's uh, considerably better. probably have to leave this sitting here for a little while make sure it doesn't climb up too high after a few hours but uh, initial results look way better to me as far as under load you can see it's actually holding its overclock now before it was throttling itself down when once it hit 105 so 4.4 uh, gigahertz on the, my i5-3570K um, and it looks like I'm capping out around 78 degrees. Um, just as a note, I think I put way too much uh, of the thermal paste, way too much thermal paste on. Uh, I haven't done it in like I want to say 10 years so I think I overdid it a little bit uh, maybe if I took it apart and did that process of installing it again I'd get a few degrees lower in Celsius 
maybe not. Um, I I think I'm currently happy with this uh, this temperature though. Mm. Thanks for watching.